Last night, I saw it in my dreams, a question that needs answering. Is Surfshark VPN any good? So here it is, a Surfshark VPN review that will show you if that VPN service is really worth even a cent of your money. And don't forget, for more content like this, you only need to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So what security wonders does Surfshark VPN hold to be a reliable option these days? I'm gonna kick it off with Surfshark Review 2022 with privacy. Gotta trust your VPN provider, you know? Surfshark is interesting here. On one hand, it has audited server infrastructure, a no-logs policy, and literally uses RAM-only servers which can't retain user data. On the other hand, I'm reminded that Surfshark VPN moved from the privacy-friendly British Virgin Islands to the 14i state of Netherlands. Then again, that change came together with the NordVPN merger, which does alleviate some privacy issues. Anyway, talking about issues, I actually haven't noticed many in this Surfshark VPN review 2022. Not when testing security. Okay, but just in case, let me just check once more. It's a good opportunity for you to see how to use Surfshark VPN as well. Okay, VPN settings, kill switch is at place, crucial if you have an unstable connection. It prevents IP leaks, so that's really good to have. Protocol choice, I always have it set on WireGuard. How good is Surfshark VPN encryption with this protocol? Well, currently it uses the ChaCha20 encryption cipher, which is the best option. Clean web is also nice to get rid of those ads, trackers, and malicious links always on as well. Bypasser is the Surfshark take on split tunneling. I actually have it to automatically reroute my torrenting app through VPN, that's neat. Finally, no borders is a feature I personally don't use, but it's designed for places with internet restrictions. Hopefully you don't need it as well, but if you do, it should work as intended. And of course, Surfshark also has three separate tabs dedicated to their cybersecurity suite, including an antivirus, the alert tool, and secure search function. These are what makes Surfshark one of the best VPNs for 2022. Alert finds any leaked data associated with your email address and search helps me avoid tracking or cookie bias when looking for stuff. Antivirus is, well, self-explanatory. So if you need a VPN that can provide a high degree of security and privacy, I think Surfshark fits the bill quite well. So I will leave my best discounts for it in the description. But me, I can't leave here. I need this Surfshark VPN review to cover performance now. After all, it has about 3,200 servers with 95 countries to spread across. That number is not that significant compared to some other best VPN providers and WireGuard by itself can't guarantee top speeds. So I've gone ahead and tested how good is Surfshark VPN speed in the US, UK, and Germany. It went better than I expected, to be honest. With the UK, my speed is almost the same as the baseline, about 95% of it actually. Germany is a bit behind, but this speed is honestly impressive. While the US in the furthest location, this time I'm getting barely 20% speed loss. Is Surfshark good for gaming at those speeds? Well, yes, I'd say so. Personally, I have not experienced any issues myself. Notably, these speed results are also not dependent on your hardware. Since Surfshark has no restrictions on how many devices can use on the account, I've tested all the platforms I had access to. Both desktop apps work great, they are just fast and responsive, but also easy to navigate. I didn't have to figure out how to use Surfshark VPN for long. But unlike many other VPNs that have desktop apps, which are better than mobile apps, Surfshark got it vice versa. Specifically with the Android app, it has a unique GPS spoofer feature no other app or in fact no other VPN can offer. While the iOS app doesn't have this feature, antivirus and bypasser, it does offer everything else. After testing all the apps for this Surfshark review, there still remains an important point to cover. Streaming. I use VPN to get geo-blocked content all the time, so is Surfshark good for streaming? I have to admit, it's entirely possible Surfshark doesn't cover a certain streaming platform. I've tested a lot of them for this Surfshark review for 2022, but I might have missed some less known options. However, I managed to access Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, and the rest of the platforms I cared about. It wasn't just access though, I didn't really encounter any lags or buffering when streaming, apart maybe from Netflix Japan. The distance is too impactful in this case after all. 
After thinking that there might be streaming issues, I wondered, is Surfshark any good for torrenting? Well, my torrenting experience actually turned out perfect. Not only is there no bandwidth limit for torrenting, but you can also use every server for P2P. This is a big deal as many VPN restrict torrenting to certain servers, sometimes making it harder to find a server close to you. And as I've already mentioned in the security section of the Surfshark review, my bypasser is set to work with my torrenting app so I can do whatever I need with a local connection while Surfshark is only affecting my torrenting app. And I've said a lot so far, probably too much even, yet the biggest selling point of Surfshark 2022 is literally its price. If you were wondering, is Surfshark worth it? Then here's your answer. For all that it's offering, Surfshark 2022 has one of the lowest price tags on the market. The price to value ratio here is literally uncontested. Considering that you can also use the 30 day money back guarantee if you need to, or use a seven day trial, Surfshark is a steal. Once again, with the discounts I found, the deal is even sweeter, so check them in the description. So is Surfshark any good at the end? Well, yes, I'd say so. It has solid security and many features, trustworthy privacy elements, and one of the best speeds I ever got from a VPN. I also personally found it perfect for streaming and torrenting. If this video was interesting for you, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.